this was one of the big like life lessons I learned about the power of film. There had been a film, this was in the late 80s, at the height of the AIDS crisis called Silver Lake Life, which was of a videographer, who, a professor who taught video in California who was HIV positive. And he does a video diary of his own demise of, from AIDS eventually. And when he dies, his partner, who's also HIV positive, picks up the camera and continues the film until he eventually dies. And a, a very famous uh, filmmaker, American, based in France, named Peter Friedman, was a, was an editor and a filmmaker in his own right, finished the film after these men died. And so this film was released on POV. And we got a letter from a Mormon woman in Utah. You probably now know Mormons, thanks to uh, Mitt Romney. Um, and the letter said that in her community, being gay, queer, was taboo. And as far as she knew, she had never met anybody who was gay. But seeing this film in the privacy of her own home, which was interesting, showed her, the film was really a love story between these two men, had given her a very different perspective on being gay than any message she got in her larger society, in her community. And she realized that <coughs> it really, this was a love story and it really moved her and it really changed her understanding of, of gay and queerness. So Ellen Schneider, the executive producer of POV at the time, and I were weeping, we're reading this, it's so, so moving. So we call this woman, and we say, can we send a camera person out there to film you saying this, or you know, could we get you a camera and you make a video diary? And this woman was like, what are you, insane? I'd be hung on a cross if I were to go public with this information. But for me, that was a revelatory moment in realizing also the power that television has mm -hmm. to reach people in their home with information that they might not get in the larger society, which I thought was a very interesting thing as somebody who's interested in social change. 